welcome. I just learned something new and I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, in many cases, in many scripts, I've used the read command. If you're familiar with the read command, will allow you to get user input and put it into a variable. For example, I can say answer. And now, when uh, someone types something, it waits for someone to type something, I can say yes. And then I can echo dollar sign, an oops, dollar sign answer, and it will echo out what that user put in. I can put you entered yes. Now I just run the read command again with answer and I type in no. Now if I run my echo command, it will say you entered no, which is great, uh, being able to put stuff in variables like that. But it turns out that if you don't give it a variable, read automatically puts it into a variable for you, the reply variable. So we can use this. Uh, I guess it would be useful um, if you're going to use the read command and then right after it, use the reply to check something and then not use it again. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. Now do remember that your, your shell is case sensitive. So if I was just say read without a variable, I can type in hello and hit enter. And it has been put in a variable. The variable is called reply with capital E, capital R, capital E, capital P, capital L, capital Y. And that will give us the reply from read, which is great because I could write a script real quick. Let's write one. Go.sh, we'll just call it. Uh, we'll say bin bash for our spang line. And I'm going to say read, and I'm going to put it dash P. That gives uh, a printed message for the user. Do you agree? And of course, we can put that into a variable, but right after that, if we're going to check, we can say if reply equals yeah, so we'll just do Y for this. Then, and of course, if you're doing this, you're going to want to think about, is the user going to do Y? Is the user going to type in yes? Is the user going to do a capital Y? We're not going to worry about all that. We're just showing here. I'm going to say reply echo you agreed. Actually, shouldn't do that there. Uh, and then we'll say else you did not agree. And if I did everything properly, I should be able to make that executable now. Oop. And then dot slash go and it says, do you agree? And I'll say yes. And it says you agreed. And if I run it again and say, and I'll say, it'll say you did not agree. Or if I put anything other than a lowercase y, uh, it will print out you did not agree. Again, I can run that and say why, and it will say you agree. So I just I found that interesting uh, because normally I would do something like again put something like that for answer, and then down here I would check the answer. But it turns out you don't need to do that because read automatically puts it into that variable of reply again all capital. Uh, and I wouldn't rely on that, you know, if you have a big old script, you're going to be using that variable a lot because it might get overwritten if you're not paying attention. So use it as you will. But I thought I'd share that information because I just learned it a couple minutes ago and thought I'd share. Thanks for watching and I hope that you have a great day.